Faking your own death in and of itself is not a crime. I ended up getting my own death certificate, a police report and witness testimony about my fatal car crash that brought me dead on arrival to the hospital in Manila. <laughs> I died in a fiery inferno of a car crash, yes. I'd always wanted to be a writer, but I didn't really have any sense of how one goes about becoming a writer. My loans were affecting my lifestyle. I bought into the con. I always paid my loans back. I mean, I just kept writing the checks and taking my change to Coinstar and my clothes to Buffalo Exchange. Owing that much money kept me in a very kind of fear-stricken state. I was having dinner with a friend and I was just totally despondent. I was like, I have screwed myself and it's all my fault. I'm never going to be able to pay this money back. And he very offhandedly offered, oh, or you could fake your own death. And I was like, that's a great idea. <laughs> Why did I never think of that? So setting up the appropriate accident is really your first step and it's the most difficult step. People have staged car accidents where they will actually use other people's bodies or in some instances um, cow parts, like a cow carcass. So then, you know, you see the bones of something and then have it go up in flames. I probably would have skipped the cow carcass though if I had done it myself. There is a whole checklist of documentation you need to provide. A death certificate, documentation from the mortuary, witness statements, police reports. In our digital age, it just seems impossible. We're tracked with our phones and friends tagging us on Facebook. I mean, the problem comes to just staying off of devices entirely. In writing my book, what I did realize was that people face far, far more serious problems that are propelling them to fake their deaths. So compared to, you know, a little hundred thousand student loan debt, it's not a good reason <laughs> to fake your death. It didn't seem that urgent and that dire anymore. I heard a friend say once, and this has stuck with me forever, if you owed the bank a thousand dollars, that would be a problem. You owe the bank over a hundred thousand dollars. Like jokes on them. They're never getting it back. Yeah, it was my idea. I just sat there. I'm like, what if we just painted a series of Kim Kardashian's sex tape? I think that'd be so funny. No, that is her ass. Oh, but that's no, but not. that's her ass.